What are you doing on Memorial Day weekend? Well, forget that, because Comic Palooza 2015 is almost here. At Comic Palooza, you'll see your favorite celebrities, comic book creators, and authors. Hear super cool musical acts. Experience crazed cosplay events. Rowdy professional wrestlers. Raucous roller derby girls. Literally thousands of hours of programming and so much more. Celebrity guests appearing at Comic Palooza this year include Jeremy Renner. That's right, Hawkeye from The Avengers. Stars of the hit Fox series Gotham. Star Trek's George Takei. Oh my. The Fonz himself, Henry Winkler. A. Comic book superstar Stan the Man Lee. And of course, me, Kyle Abair, that anime and video game voice actor guy. Follow Comic Palooza on social media on Twitter at Comic Palooza, Instagram at Houston Comic Palooza, and like us on Facebook to keep up with amazing guest announcements as they happen. Remember, Comic Palooza at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas, Memorial Day weekend, May 22nd to 25th. Get your passes today. Head over to www.comicpalooza.com for all the details. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Yes, meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Welcome back to the Nerdery. I'm JD. I'm Jimmy. And Chris. So. So? So? So. So. So, the world's gone mad. Well, tell us something new, man. I already knew that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Jimmy and I both went and saw Fury Road. Chris (laughs) has not yet. No. So, out of respect for what he did for us, for Ultron... We are going to sandbag an in-depth review and any spoilers for y'all. And uh, Anna, I know you're out there listening. Trying to. And I'm sure you probably want us to talk about it. And the original three, which we probably will in the second half. Yeah. We'll probably get to that. Um, But I'm going to come out of the box and say five capes. It was incredible. I I loved it. I've waited so long for this. I'm going to add to your five capes and give it five chimichangas. Nice. And uh, I, I, I've come up with several ways to describe it, but all I can say is it, it was a magnificent display of rolling destruction on hell and fury and, you know, rocking out guitars and, and, and just... Uh, spray paint. It, it was nonstop, man. Yeah, chrome <laughs> spray paint. Man. But just remember, <laughs> folks, chrome don't get you home. That's right. So That's right. Now, I'll see... I had meant to read Secret Wars, but I didn't get a chance to get around to it, but Jimmy did. Ruh row. But I have a I have Convergence number six. I have a requested review. Oh. Um, one of the twins over at All Star actually requested we do an on air review of a uh, Mythic from Image and uh even and I was already at my budget for comics for the week, so he bought it for me. If so it, that if we it's that awesome. He's got to throw it in your hands like that. Then I suppose we should uh, we should definitely review this. Well, I, I did read it. I did did get that finished, and uh, we'll we'll have that online live review for you, uh, Jimmy. What else you what you got? I know you got Secret Wars. Well, I I also uh, I also got a request to read uh, a trade from a friend of mine, uh, Chuck, that works at Bedrock. Oh yeah, that's right. He, he, Grab this off the shelf because I guess they just put it out. Uh, it's Empire from IDW. That was last week, man. Shame on you for taking so long. Well, hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, the flood in Clear Lake actually gave me the time to read most of the stuff I had backlogged. So I read, I finished that up. Really good book. Really good book. Uh, I've also got uh, Lady Killer number five, which I believe is the end of this series. So it's going to be a series wrap up. Uh, and I've also got Howard the Duck, number three. All right, Chris, we're going to kick it off to you. And, uh, yeah, just go right into what, our, what all you got. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, again, going over to Comic Palooza. Uh, man, we can't wait. Um, if you haven't got your ticket yet, uh, use coupon code Houston Nerds Unite 2015. That's right. And that'll get you what? That'll get you, uh, that'll get you a, uh, what is that, 10%? It's like five dollars off a four day pass. I think something like that. Um, dollars off a. It was a t- ten dollars off a four day. Ten dollars off five off a one day. I think. I think. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. 
So there you go, I think. man. Yeah, you you gotta, don't quote us on that. You gotta now. visit Comapalooza.com. Yep, you can order your tickets right there. And you can also pre order uh, photo ops. You can pre order some sig- some autographs. Nice. All right there on their website. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, after all that, uh, gosh, I have uh, uh, the manga I've kept up with uh, so far. I will be adding to my library. Um, I'm not rich, so yeah. It's, uh, it's, it is quite a bit. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul number one. I already got my hands on it. Uh, wow. Uh, if, if not equal to the first attack on Titan, uh, that, that thing is amazing. It's, uh, it's, a uh, it's a horror manga. It's, uh, you know, no, no fan service, nothing like that, but it, it's, it's serious. Um, hell, it's scary. It's a horror manga. Uh, very good. Very good. I'm gonna have to get that one, uh, 4.5 joysticks. We'll get nice. on 4.5. Was what was the title on that? Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Yes. Right. And then, uh, uh, matter of fact, I meant to re-mention uh, Attack on Titan. I have caught up with Attack on Titan uh, and the anime as well. That's still going to stand five five joysticks straight up. That's that thing is amazing. Uh, that one again. That's just that's not no fan service. It's a serious. It's a uh, sort of a sci-fi. Horror manga, um, so it's it's, it's no, very meat and potatoes. Yes, definitely, definitely that. I'm not gonna no spoilers or nothing, but it's that thing is amazing. It's Attack on Titan potatoes, is amazing. It's meat and potatoes, but it's a hearty dish. So <laughs> check yeah, it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely that one. Uh, finally, I finished up and caught up with um, uh, high school D and D. Again, that's my uh, my. Certain little favorite dirty one. Uh, it's not too dirty, but you know it's de- definitely fan service based. Um, <laughs> got caught up with that one. Uh, I actually do like it. It is it is actually uh, serious. I think it's cool. It has you know the whole demon aspect versus you know uh, not you know no vampires. It's just it's a it's a demon versus you know the the holy people so to say. But I like said, that one. On that one, you said the roles are reversed, right? The roles are reversed, yes. So yes. You the, remember, yes. The, the, uh, the, the demons, demons are the good guys. They are the good guys. They're the good guys. They they do they, they work. They help people. Uh, I mean, it's 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 almost a whole, uh, you know, every day in the, in the life of kind of thing. And the holy ones are out to get them. And they are crazy. They are crazy. Well, yeah, yeah. Sit on a high what's, what's the rating on, on high school D and D? High school D and D. Yeah, I finally I finally got caught up with all that. Um, so far, so far for that one, I'll give that one also four point five joysticks. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna do for that one. Um, you know, in in lieu of this, and we always find stuff that uh, that we like. I, I think we need to start finding stuff we don't like. Yeah, um, well, well, <laughs> I, I do give, give something every, a chance, you know. Give, I do give a, every comic I read a, a, a fair shot. Like, yeah. um, well, Mi- well, I'll explain it further when I get to Mythic. And you, you know what? That's also a further example. It's 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 kind of hard to find stuff you don't like out there, you know? uh, especially when it comes to you and I. Yeah, it's 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 hard to find stuff. Yeah, you know, there, you could pick up a shitty book, but. Nowadays, everybody's on pretty on top of their game as far yeah. as the writing goes. Yeah, everything's well. Everybody's uh, polished their craft, so to say, and they've figured out what people like and stop it. Yeah, yeah, stop it, Chris. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm I got, I'm full of dirty right now. Polished. Anyway, anyway, but yeah, it's, it, it's so everything's pro and level. Pro. It is <laughs> shiny and chrome. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, I got. Uh, let's see. That, that's it for that. I got. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh yes, that's right. Uh, well, I, got, I got one anime. Uh, it was just another another short one. It's not an ongoing. Uh, went ahead and just uh, uh, about the the box. Uh, it's not really a box set, but there are two parts to it. Uh, but I mean, it is finished so far as I know, and that is—is is this a zombie? Is anime? this a zombie? Is this a zombie? That's very, very, very ultra cute, um, but but violent. So <laughs> what, now you handed me—you handed me for my viewing pleasure 
uh, is this a zombie? Yes. What uh, I, what I got was a the the Blu-ray pack, but, but what it is, it has the Blu-ray and DVD. Nice. And so nice. so That's I have the good. Blu-rays. I know you're you you got the DVDs. So I'm like you look. I'm gonna give that to Jimmy. There you go. You're giving this to me. Yes. Oh fuck! Thank you. Yeah man. <laughs> Uh, the, now the other one was uh, Dead Man Wonderland. I did this full sit down. Also, yes, I wanted to cover that too. I'm oh, sorry, you reminded me. Thank you. No, no, no. Yes, I, I was curious about that. Which would you prefer over the two? Oh gosh, oh, tough. Uh, that's actually really tough. I, I, you know, I prefer Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, let me get to that one now. Also, yeah, that Dead Man Wonderland. Bought that one. Did a full sit down. Watched that in its entirety. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that one's. Done. I could not tell at the end if they set it up for maybe, uh, you know, Dead Man Wonderland 2 or anything as far as a whole other little, you know, set, small series. But um, that one, that's just messed up. It's, it's messed up. It's, it's very, it's, uh, it's semi-violent. Uh, you know, not really big on the fan service. But it's, it's very serious, but it's, it's psychological. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty messed up. It's not... You know, nothing like Science of the Lambs or nothing like that, but I mean, it's just... Okay. Mm, okay. Ah, no spoilers. I can't, I'll, I'll stop right there. I'll stop right there. <laughs> so once I'm done with this, I get to watch that, right? They're they're both in there. Oh, oh wow. they're both in there. Oh, four, sweet. You, you, got All four, right. you got four discs in there, buddy. Oh, what, what about a rating on those? A rating on... Uh, is this a zombie? Is this a zombie? Uh, I'm going to give that a four. Four joysticks. Dead Man Wonderland, five straight up. Wow. wow. Five nice. joysticks. That Dead Man Dude. Wonderland's awesome. And, and, and just by your rating, I am amped to sit down and watch these. Right. So it's been a while since I've actually watched, you know, gotten gotten hardcore into a series, an anime series. It is a good short series. It's nothing okay. like Bleach or Naruto. I mean, those, no, those, God, just, no. those, no. Don't, those don't end. But no, no. no these are good, good, good little, <laughs> you know, good little chunk of like maybe 12 episodes. I forgot how many, but you know, and that's it. Okay. And it's it's good good watch. Good watch right there and and very good artwork. You can tell the difference between like that and like Naruto, like old Naruto. Yeah. Oh man, there's a big difference. It's 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 really good. Really okay. good really good artwork. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. Um hey, last but not least, uh still no no other game reviews nothing but of course Destiny House of Wolves May 19th. That's just in a couple of days, few days. Yeah, um, I'm seeing st- some stuff online for that. Oh man, it's uh, it's it's, it's being it's being hyped out the booty, out the booty. Yes, it's being hyped out the booty. I mean, it's supposedly this release is going to uh, fix all the crap and grief, Bungie. <laughs> it has given the players with the uh, first expansion, which was uh, everybody knows it just calling it by calling it Crota, the Crota expansion, whatever. Um, More like Scrota expansion. Yeah, that's actually what we we called it in my clan, Scrota. Let's go, let's go whoop up on Scrota. Yeah, um, it's yeah. It's supposedly this is supposed to be genius, supposed to be badass, uh, very good game. Um, not that much of a headache as uh, this previous game was. So hopefully that that fixes a lot of it. Uh, that's May nineteenth again. May nineteenth. Uh, uh, keep your systems on because uh, it'll be it. You it'll auto download. It'll be ready to go when you get home. Nice, baby. That's on me right there. All right. And uh, also, I'm, I'm we're live tweeting again. Anybody, anybody listening? Hey, we're uh, live, actually live we tweeting. do we do have a chat. Well, that, that's uh, oh we, we have, have a chat. chat. We, we have, have a chat. chat. Whoever that is, I'm sorry. We have a chat. Uh, Come it's on, now. Lewis. Uh oh, Lewis is a uh, dead man Wonderland. Um. He is a Dead Man Wonderland fan. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, he's waiting on season two to be translated. So ah, there okay. you go. There we go. Thank there you, you go. Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. Lu- well, Lewis there we go. We got, a, rock, dude. we got a season two coming. There we go. Nice. And, uh, so, so get that watch, Jimmy. And right. for those of you who I'm, I'm don't remember, Lewis Lewis actually guested on a, on the show uh, quite a while back. Uh, it looks like Anna texted. Something. Oh, I need to get with the program. Apparently, what does that mean? Oh, because I'm being quiet. I was taking notes. Okay, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually, folks. I'm actually trying to catalog what we review on the podcast, and that way I can do a more in-depth description of the podcast and try to get us hooked up with uh, iHeartMedia. So if you see, hear me a little quiet, that's what's going on. So I am with the program. I'm there. Don't worry. I'm here <laughs> to fill in the gaps. More dings. More dings. More dings. Yeah, I'll oh wow! I'll see him come in as we. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, Lewis says two words: the Raven. The Raven. The Raven. raven. Let me, uh, sir. Let me look that up then. 
All right, well, while he's looking that up, see, now I've got Convergence number six. I have an Elseworlds review for y'all, and it actually took me a while. To get around to that. To, to, to get around to Evil's Might. That was because a three-part series. It is a three-part series, and I, as far as I know, it never got put into trade. So if if you want to read it, you have to find all three, which Bedrock had all three together, but I already had part three. Yeah. So I just picked up part one and part two. So anybody who's there at Bedrock, um, oh, uh, for Dead Man Wonderland. Uh, what he says. My, my girlfriend says she's just messing with you. She'll stop. Okay. I, I, I don't care. You know me personally, so. Uh, and I also have Mythic. Now, I'm going to start off with Mythic and get this out of the way. Um, I'm going to give it a solid four capes. It's not really my thing. Um, it's very Men in Black meets Constantine. It's, it is interesting. It's, it's, it's definitely riveting, but it's not really my genre of what what I like out of a comic book. It didn't quite provide everything that I like. Okay, my, but, qu- my question to you about it, though, is what, what what did you find most noticeable about this book that you would give it a four if it's not up your alley? Because it is extremely well written. It's very well thought out, and the art is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's very Mignola. Really? Really. And uh, okay. it's... I mean, it is a great book. It's it's very well put together. The art's there. The story's there. The characters are very fleshed out. It's just, it, it's not it's, it's not, not my cup genre. of tea. Yeah. Not, not what you particularly so, like. So, okay. like I was saying earlier, just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's going to get a low score. Because yeah. I know there's a lot of people who will love this book. Uh, my wife, for instance. Probably you, Jimmy. And you, Chris. Y'all would probably both love it. Hey man, I'm I'm interested in stuff that's coming out from Image because I mean they they've well, been putting out some awesome stuff. Well, here you go. There's there's another book to read. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'll put I'm, it on the stack. Well, I'm actually <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, our buddy who hooked us up with that, I'm sure he'd actually love to get all three of our reviews on it. Okay. So that's going to pass to the circle, and hopefully uh, one of us a week will do a review on it. All right. Uh, okay. Convergence number six. Um, man, it's there. Man, it's. It's, it's, it's snowballing. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better and better. Um, they're now, instead of all these universes going together, well, with Telos being, have a slight favoritism towards Earth 2 Grayson, well, he's a little partial to him. Well, Grayson was able to dig up enough of his own emotions to remember that he is not who he thinks he is. He was human. And Brainiac turned him into this being that controls this world. Well, they Grayson went and talked to him and they, you know, they they're getting everybody rallied. All these universes are lining up to fight against Demos, who also pretty much did the same thing. Went and told all these other universes, if you fight with me, then you'll get to live. You'll help if if you help me win, y'all all get the chance to live. But if I lose, everybody's going to die. Well, they, of course, all rallied behind him. So you have half of all these universes on one side and the other half on the other side. And it's it's really getting very, very interesting very, very fast. The only complaint I have about them is they're, they're very short. Yeah. They read very fast. I well, read this in 15 minutes see, of that. I, I ran into the same problem with, uh, with Futures In. However... Uh, they are short books, and unfortunately, the price tag is a dollar more than Futures End. Futures yep. End was going for two ninety nine a pop. That's where convergence three ninety nine. For right. something that short, I feel a little upset about paying that much for for the cover. Um, but what can you do? Um, I think the the other thing you have to take into mind is you know that they're they're doing a very short <laughs> section of the story, and they are releasing these weekly. Yeah. So. You know, this is supposed to wrap up, what, in the next... Two weeks. Two weeks. So, two weeks. So it's only getting eight issues. That's right. Wow. Okay. Thank, All right. Thank, thank the Lord, because, uh, you know... Yeah. I'm, <laughs> Futures whoo. End Futures End went on for about almost 30 issues. Something like that. And there's it was a, monthly, wasn't it? There's an omnibus about... Yeah. Uh, probably about four or five inches thick of yeah. Futures End. So... All right. So... Mm, 
moving right along. Your um, Elseworlds review. My Elseworlds review. Now, I haven't done an Elseworlds in quite a long time, which is very odd for me. Well, if you if you count a few weeks, uh, quite a long time, then, yeah. Well, it's been a lot longer than a few weeks. Really? Yeah. I think the last Elseworlds I did was World's End. Huh. Yeah, that was quite a while back. Okay. Anywho. Hell, do it. Do um, it, sir. I love it. This is this is Kyle Rayner um, getting the Silver Age Green Lantern, getting access to the Silver Age Green Lantern ring. Uh, Which, Alan Scotts. Yeah, and that that for for those of you who don't know out there, the Silver Age Green Lantern uh, in the regular DC universe is not associated with the Green Lantern, Lantern Corps. Corps. Uh, his Lantern is based on mystical powers, so. Yeah, did that come into play here? Or? Um, not really. Because this this um, is this is a whole different universe time setting. It's it's like correct. 1800, late eighteen hundreds, like early, the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. This will this is the same time period, and I'm going to go ahead and assume the same universe. It's the as gaslight. Gotham Gaslight. So it's I'm going to call it the universe. Gaslight Universe. Okay. Um, and I just noticed I didn't give a rating on Convergence number six. I'm oh. going to give it solid four capes. Sorry, I'm interrupting. <laughs> oh no problem. Um, Evil's wine. Well, it, it you're you're dealing with Tammany Hall in New York in the early year, very very early years, and it's it's it is incredible. There's so much stuff going on everywhere that there's n- there's not a page of slowdown. It's constant action. Well, okay. So you say that, is this kind of like a Gangs of New York meets Green Lantern? Definitely. Wow, okay. It's, it's Gangs of New York meets Kyle Rayner meets Silver Age Green Lantern. It's That's what it is. <laughs> it's And it's it's awesome. I, I, I loved it. And I'm, with a lot of the else. it's going to get the same rating as a lot of the Elseworlds I've read. It's getting five capes. I, I, I loved it, and I wish there was a sequel. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, man, five capes. Love it. Love it. Uh, I also forgot to throw in. Uh, I am gonna re. I, I am gonna do a review of Secret Wars, and I know you've done one already for part for issue one, but I'm gonna do issue two and one as well. Nice. Uh, just a quick little rundown on what I thought of it. Um, so should in my is it my? Oh part? yeah, go okay. ahead, man. All right. Well, <laughs> well, let's let's lead into it with Empire. Bar- uh, This is a nice trade that I picked up from uh, Bedrock Comics, uh, as per recommended by my friend Chuck. Now, is that that the whole run? You know, uh, honestly, I think it is. I'm going to have to talk to him more about it, because just the way the book ends, it it ends on a the end, or an end. Oh, wow. You know, it's an interesting book, uh, and it was described to me as, what if Doctor Doom actually did rule the world? And uh, it it uh, follows this guy Golgoth, who basically takes control of most of the Earth's population. Oh wow! Uh, and and kind of rules with an iron fist. Um, not for the faint of heart. Uh, this this book does have a lot of scenes of violence and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of interesting things go on in this book, uh, dealing with him ruling the world, and uh, it, it it's got some. Neat twists and turns. Uh, the artwork is is really nice. Uh, it goes back to kind of it, it harkens back to like the the late nineties. You know, it's it's some good stuff. And that is beautiful art. That it is. It is very nice art. Uh, huh. Uh, that's. It Go really puts it. it puts my mind back to. Uh, well, I got to say, uh, the Doomsday arc of of Superman. You have a fascination with phalluses, sir. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, just a um, little. I'll just like drawing them all day. <laughs> no, I, you know, actually, and I will hand this off to you. Really? All right. So you can read it and see what you think, because I want to give. I want you to give me a review on that. Okay. Uh, this this is this is a really good book, and as far as I can tell, it is a complete series there. So check it out. Uh, it is it is the bad guys. I mean, you, you, the bad guys have won. There's there's no good guys coming to stop these guys. You know they they've already won, hmm. and you're you're reading about how things are unfolding, um, and how they came to be. 
So it's it's a great book. What's and, your rating on that? Uh, that one I will actually give four point five chimichangas. Four point five chimichangas. Four point five chimichangas. Yes, sir. Nice. Um, what you got next? Next, I've got Lady Killer from Dark Horse Comics, issue number five, which I also believe is the final issue in this series. Uh, follows a nineteen nineteen fifties late nineteen fifties nineteen sixties homemaker who has a part-time job as a wet works operative. Uh, she basically takes up contracts and, well, she kills people, you know. Uh, all the while, her husband and kids do not know about this. Um, and it ramps up towards the end. She's trying to break free from this life uh, that she's she's had, and uh, her, her boss doesn't want her to. Hmm. So she's decided to take things into her own hands by bringing up uh, some other wet works operatives that aren't very happy with their jobs either. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. Sounds like it's kind of blood in, blood out kind of thing. It's pretty much. Hmm. And, and there is blood. Um, also not for the faint of heart. It is It is a great book. It's a great series. I'd love to see him put in trade as good as it's been selling because I've seen second printings of it. I think I've seen third printings in some instances. I think this one will hit the shelves on a trade. Uh, it's really hard to tell from Dark Horse sometimes what they're going to do with their books yeah. because it, you don't see a lot of trades come out of there. Uh, but this would be an awesome, awesome book to pick up on a trade. And if you can, find it in single issues. Um, now, I'm going to finish it up with, uh, you know what? Howard the Duck was great. Uh, and, and, oh, by the way, Lady Killer, I'm going to give uh, five chimichangas. I enjoyed the hell out of that story. The artwork was beautiful. Check it out. Uh, Howard the Duck number three, uh, you get to see the uh, whole situation with two where we left off Aunt May holding Howard at gunpoint. And you figure out what's going on there. Yeah. Um, but it, it's it's a, it's a series where, you know, Howard the Duck's back on Earth and he is trying to find this necklace for some random dude who uh, who turns out to be an evil, evil guy. And uh, this it, it's a great story. Funny it's got a lot of humor, a lot of side jokes. I love the little, uh, uh, the little side jokes and uh, uh, references to movies or heroes or you know. The, there's references to I've, I've heard references to Superman and Howard the Duck. This is great stuff because uh, it's a comic book that references comic books. Awesome. So I'm going to give the series as a whole so far a four and a half chimichangas. Nice. It's great stuff. Uh, Secret Wars 1 and 2, and I'm going to make this real quick. Uh, part 1, or issue 1, um, I I was uh, I, I knew what was going on. I knew what was going on. It was, it was pretty cool. Okay, Cataclysm Destruction. All right, we're moving along. Things are going crazy. All right, and then we move on to issue 2, and what's going on? So issue 1, I will give four chimichangas. Issue 2... At first, I will give two and a half because I was very, very confused. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then at the okay. end, okay. I got resolution, so I will give it four chimichangas as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I think I, I think this is a situation where they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. To be honest. Nice. Uh, they mm. they are trying to keep up with DC's convergence, and and uh, oh. I, I want to see where it's going, but so far, yeah, I don't know. And that was your. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to give a shout-out to Southern Vapors and Captain Jack's Elixirs. We've got some news that you're going to hear on the second half from us and them. Uh, the, the second half. Yes, that's correct. Uh, but awesome, awesome flavors. Awesome, Just incredible amount of inventory. If you want it, if you want to quit smoking or you enjoy vaping, go check them out. Give them a call. They're located at 322 East Texas Avenue, Baytown, 77520. And their phone number is 281-837-3543. And do they deliver? Do they, they, they ship. They ship. They ship. So call them and tell them you want the professional nerd. The pro nerd. Um, well, it won't be available to the public for a couple weeks, but it's coming. Uh, but stay tuned. Beat down their door for it. doesn't matter. Tell them you want it. That's right. <laughs> we'll be back in just a little bit. Comic Palooza 2015 is almost here. You'll see your favorite celebrities, comic book creators, and authors. Hear super cool musical acts. 
experience crazed cosplay events, rowdy professional wrestlers, raucous roller derby girls, literally thousands of hours of programming, and so much more. Remember, Comic Palooza at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas. Memorial Day weekend, May 22nd to 25th. Get your passes today. Head over to www.comicpalooza.com for all the details. 